Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Warmth, at last. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold oh, on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Laminson Smiths that put the bloody things together. Oh, well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? The hells you did! We were there every step of the way! We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate! I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat! Take that back! Make me. I will not stoop to your level! Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it, and I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. The little things that make life worth living, don't you think?
I know this is not a dream, and yet... I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The Grand Company of Eorzea. The Ilsebard Contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days, of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. I am honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Galian both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Being tempered. The talismans. Quickly. Save me, brave hero. Ahem. My lord has requested your presence. Then I would hate to disappoint him. The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. I shall begin the preparations. 
Now, it is time for you to awaken. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his Mindjack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Come now. To us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine cuisine? I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Ah, exposition is in order. The Garlean Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people, must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest. Channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, the savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit, their anima. It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does Aether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Would you not agree, my lord?
Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger, and it would seem my friend has lost his appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion, but clearly we are above such pretensions. While my lifeless body was in the possession of Cassia, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. It is. Your camp, I believe. Uh, 
If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making his way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here, or run if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude! I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Tempered soldiers, with standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about like a rodent.
It is a miracle we were able to restrain the Tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully there are enough scales for everyone. And what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. They were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. May the Fury guide you. Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck. We'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw him leave in the chaos, and we've no trail to follow. While I know full well he can handle himself, I worry all the same. Ah, speak of the devil. Well, time to call off the search. <laughs> Case closed. That's him. Over there. I twould appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive his presence. I am. Perhaps... In the aftermath of the wave, there is some residual effect interfering with my faculties, but... Where have you been? We've been worried sick! Uh, now, now. All's well that ends well. Are you alright? Are you alright? Who are you? Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. But where are my manners? We have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respects. Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Particularly effective. Charitable souls that you are, you bent over backwards to aid them. Heedless of the delay. Predictable to a fault. And so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether. And then shall come the spectacle to end all spectacles. The eldest and most powerful of primals will awaken. And all shall bear witness to the final days! The 
The gods themselves will be my meal. Your dear companions my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Thank goodness. He's awake. I am pleased to report you are very much alive. Everything in working order? That's a relief. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. If Van Daniel's boasts are to be believed, we must act quickly. Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. <laughs> 